Hello and welcome to a new video about controlling. Now we know what control engineering is. Remember this picture? Now we know what control engineering is. We know all the possible names in control engineering. We know uh, the task of control engineering. We know the field of application. We know there is a, a theory behind. Yeah? So now we can start to think about what is necessary to select or to build a control system. Huh? Where do you think to start? Yeah? Look at this picture. Where do you think we start? Huh? By selecting the control, all right? Ah, would be a bad choice. Huh? i tell you why. Huh? The first thing we have to select is the controlled variable. Okay? So we have to select which value of our control system we want to control. Yeah? So first, first task. Yeah? Select the controlled variable x. Now this sounds a little bit, you know, no na. Nah. This sounds a little bit obvious, yeah. However, we have to consider some things there. Yeah, we have really to consider some things. We have to check if by controlling this controlled variable do we get an advantage of it or is it just more expensive? Yeah? So we have to check are there advantages? If I control this, or if it just, uh, it will be in a range where it's good enough anyway. Yeah? Are there advantages to control this? Yeah? And if there are advantages, is it possible to measure this? Yeah? Not all things I want to control are measurable. Yeah? So is it possible? Because I have to measure. Yeah? Is it possible to measure? So, if I now have selected a controlled variable and I realized there are advantages and I can even measure it, yeah, so I can place a measurement at a reasonable price, at a reasonable position inside my process or wherever, and I can determine the size, the quantity of my controlled variable, okay, that's a starting point. Yeah. The second thing. Now that I know which controlled variable I have, I can think about the disturbances. Okay? I can think about the disturbances. I can Now that I know which variable I want to influence, I want to control, I can think about things which might disturb this controlled variable. Yeah? Second, yeah? determine disturbances what are the disturbances which might influence my controlled variable huh? this I want to know what especially I want to know about them is how powerful how big how influenced they are yeah so how powerful are they? What is the impact? The possible impact, okay? Huh? the mind disturbances. Huh? And also since I know which variable I want to control now, yeah, I also have to select somewhere an item. Yeah. I have to select the correcting variable. Yeah. So I now 
can select the correcting variable because I know which variable I want to influence. Three. Select a suitable correcting variable. This could uh, I've could done here also in between, right? Huh? Not entirely true because this correcting variable must somehow be able to to overrule the disturbances. Okay. Now that I know how powerful and what is the possible impact of the disturbances, I can not only select the correcting variable, but I can also select uh, I can also select the control element. Yeah? I can select. How big is the thing which is influencing the, the controlled variable? How big it needs to be? How powerful it needs to be to, to, to even be able to level away the disturbances? Yeah? The po most powerful disturbance, how big must be the control element? Yeah? So, here we can also select the size of the control element. If I did not first determine the possible disturbances and their impact on their, on their uh, potential impact, yeah, I can never select the correct size of my control element. Yeah? how much influence I have to spend into the controlled variable to be able to, to reach the disturbances will not affect. Yeah? So now, what is now the next thing? Yeah? The next thing would then be, uh, I have to specify the quality I want to reach. Yeah? So the fourth Thing is specify the control quality. What does this mean? Yeah. Specify the control quality. What does it mean? Yeah, I have to think about you know how fast it needs to be. Yeah? What is the reaction? What is the necessary reaction time of my control element? Yeah? And how close we have to get to the reference variable? Yeah? How much control difference is allowed there? Yeah? How much? What is the time constraints of this control difference of this control deviation? And what is the allowed deviation? Let's say that we can still say, okay, it's okay. Yeah? So, so we are doing things like. We're thinking about the maximum deviation. We're thinking about the maximum reaction time. Yeah. Stuff like this. This we need to specify. Why do I need to specify it? Yeah. Why don't I say, okay, maximum deviation zero, uh, maximum reaction time zero? Uh, yeah, because it's simply not possible. Yeah. And the closer I want to get, the more expensive it gets. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah. So it's a good thing to think about, yeah, you know, is it really, like I said, is it really necessary in a house to keep the temperature at 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.1, 0 0.001 degree exact, or is half a degree up and down even okay? What probably is. Huh? So maximum deviation. Think about the quality. Okay. Now, we have specified the controlled variable. We have identified possible disturbances. Based on the disturbances, we are, have selected the correcting variable and the size of the, of the control element. Yeah. Now that we know how good we need to be, yeah, we can finally select a suitable controller. Okay. Now we select the controller. Okay, now we have five 
select a suitable controller. Controller. Yeah. In the next video we are going to talk about what types of controllers are there and so on. Yeah. So then we know what I mean with this. Yeah. Select the suitable controller. There are switching controllers, the continuous controllers and so on. Yeah. Select the suitable controller. And the next few things, they are pretty obvious. Yeah. Now that I have a controller, now that I know what to measure, now that I know how to influence, yeah, and I have the controller, I can start to mount this. Yeah. Six, mount. Mounting and direction. Is this correct with double R? I don't think. Erection. It looks better. Mounting and erection of the older stuff. Yeah? Put it together. Yeah? And then we try it. Yeah? Then we try it. Last but not least, seven. Commissioning. Turn it on and see how it works. Yeah? So in commissioning, we usually test it, we tune, and we optimize. We optimize the control. Yeah? These are the things, and then we're done. Then it's working. And, uh, if, we are, if we have done everything correct, it's working pretty well in the most cases. Okay? So these are the things which are necessary to build a controlled system. Like I said, next time, next video, we're going to talk about this point, suitable controller, select a suitable controller, because we want there are different types of controllers. Yeah, we can determine controllers, construction, way they behave and so on. Yeah, we will get to know what are the possibilities there that we have. This then will be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.